So in pre-calculus, we will learn the properties of logarithms. If you have two things multiplying inside the argument of a logarithm, inside the parentheses next to a log, then you can rewrite them as a sum of each of those things inside a logarithm. So log of x times y is the same thing as log of x plus log of y. You can use that to expand this one three times instead of just two. Log base three of, oh sorry, uh, before we do that we need another property. I forgot about this square root. So a square root is a one-half power, right? And another important property of logarithms is that if you have a power inside your logarithm, the power can multiply on the outside as a coefficient. So um, I bring that up because the square root is a one-half power. So the first step to expand this is to rewrite it as the one-half multiplying on the outside. Um, that's what stopped me when I was trying to expand before as I realized everything's to the one-half power so I gotta get rid of the power first before I can expand. And now I can expand. Just want to make sure I distribute that one-half to every term in my expansion. So this is log base 3 of 27 plus log base 3 of x plus log base 3 of y to the fifth. So we can do some more expansion here. Um, and while we work on that, here, a logarithm says what power do you raise the base in order to make it equal the argument? So 3 to the third power makes 27, right? So what power do you raise 3 to be to make it be 27? That's 3. So that's what this logarithm is. Uh, and then we still got this log base 3 of x. And then over here I'm going to make that 5 come down and multiply. Just like we did in the beginning. So that should be fine, or you could distribute that 1 half to everything. Either one should be okay.